Hi guys, what I want to talk to you about is uh, nuke boxes, basically a five frame nuke box and a two frame nuke box um, and how to do them. I've worked out a very simple method. Um, first of all, let me show you who you're talking to. Okay, I'm Paul and um, recently got into bees. Spent a bit of time looking at how to do nuke boxes on the um, on YouTube and there was a lot of stuff that it was just too difficult there's table saws involved heaps of ply different sizes um, and I don't have a table saw I can cut a piece of ply but um, it's all just too difficult I just wanted to make it as simple as possible and the beauty about these ones is um, the front back and base is timber straight out of the hardware and then you've just got your ply sides and that's all there is to it um, all the measurements are the same for both boxes so it doesn't matter which one you're building it just makes a difference with what timber you're using um, now to try and dispel some of the questions um, I'm not using a special um, plywood it's a CD grade structural ply and um, it doesn't matter whether you're using 12 mil, 15 mil, 19 mil use whatever you like it's it's going to work because the ply goes on the outside um, it's not an external grade uh, and um, I think that'll be fine as long as I seal it well uh, I could have used marine grade but it co cost twice as much and there's speculation about whether it's healthy for the bees um, but that said um, this is it and to give you a basic cost version of this and this is in Australian dollars so uh, all the materials for this one minus the frames of course are, that one's about ten dollars and that one's about fifteen dollars so let me just turn that camera around so I can see what's going on all right so you can see I haven't got the cleat on this one just because it's half done um, but yeah the concept is is just about having a very simple way to do it and here it is okay so what we've got there is two meter lengths of timber this one is 90 by 19 one meter long cut into three different sections and there's half your box finished and then you've just got your plies at a certain size uh, for those in the US um, I will show you a um, cutting list which does have the uh, imperial measurements on it so if it's not making sense as I go um, you can rely on that at the end um, so this one is a 190 by 90 again straight out of the hardware all dressed so all I have to do is cut me three pieces and then screw my ply on um, so and that's what makes it easy it's it's the concept of um, of having this stuff straight out of the hardware that makes all the difference and as you can see the five frame you know there's a little bit of gap on either side so that just works perfectly the two frame I think there's even a little bit more gap on um, the sides of this one but I don't think the bees are going to care I think it's going to work uh, what I haven't done on these I'm intending to do a hole here and have one of those adjustable round um, entrance reducers or um, on those so I think that'll be fine there you can get funky with it if you like and and cut that smaller and then you know ha have a big raping there and make something to fit in there if you like but um, the sizes I, I'm supplying you with are, are basically this structure um, you know your frame rest there uh, and then put on a cleat like this on either box um, now let me see all right let me get the uh, instructions out so for those who want to copy down the um the sizes you might want to pause um they're the sizes now you've got the ply there i'm using 15 mil uh the only thing that's going to change if you change the ply is the size of the uh cleats um you know for the two frame cleat it's 120 if you're using a bigger or a smaller ply that's not going to be exact but that's not really important so the 90 by 19 and there's your imperial measurements 
or the 190 by 19 so you're using one or the other five frame nuke two frame nuke and we've got um, the back front and base they're the sizes and it's as simple as that so there's your cleats for your two frame and that's just 42 by 19 gee that could be anything really um, it just needs to cover that let's grab a piece you know if you want to screw on a piece like that perfectly doable obviously your um, 42 by 19 is going to be cheaper so whatever um, now let me get rid of these boxes and I'll show you quickly oh actually I can show you how they go together here so this is um, the diagram now you want to screw the back it's going to be the longer of the two short pieces um, so screw the back into the base um, with a couple of screws you can glue and nail that's fine I'm just using screws because it's easier I didn't even glue these ones and they're strong as strong as an ox this one so we measure once this is together measure out your 503 because that's your ply size um, mark it and that'll be the outside of this piece uh, so you screw up through the the base to screw that one on uh, once you've got that together you just fold it down and put on your ply side there we go just screw that up and and that's it and that's where that one's at now it's got the ply screwed on all I have to do is cut the cleat um, I haven't provided sizes for your tops because well you know I'm sure you can work out how to be build your top um, that's about it. Uh, it so yeah if you want to adjust the sizes it's all up to you it's more the concept I wanted to show today the sizes I've got there too you'll see these landing boards are a different size the sizes I've got is for this size landing board um, I made that one first and decided it didn't need to be that long so I'll cut that off later but your um, what size is the uh, base 510 will give you that that much landing board if you want more you know cut it longer <laughs> pretty simple um, I think that's pretty much everything uh, told you the price was uh, $10 $15 now I think um, I had a conversion there for uh, US dollars oh no sorry this one is um, $15 and that one's twenty dollars so the us prices would be 10 and 15 for the materials of those uh that's about it hope that's handy um i think that was as about as simple as you get i don't think you can simplify that any further um certainly couldn't find anything on youtube that makes it that easy i'm sure everyone's capable to pull that off and yeah i'm paul um please subscribe this is my first video i apologize if it's a, a bit edgy um but uh yeah my first video so it'll be not i don't even have a platform to <laughs> put it on yet so when i do and you get to see this video it'll be really cool if you could subscribe um so i have a subscriber anyway have a lovely day i'm paul and goodbye